Hi everyone, this is how I make a quick mould. I'd get some leftover fondant and I'll put quite a lot of Tylo powder and then all I do is I'll work it in till all that's gone. Like that. So that it's all incorporated. And what I do is I roll it into a a nice bowl without any cracks in it, etc. And I make it into a round shape. Make sure it's not sticking. And then what I do is I get some whatever I want to use. I'm going to want these musical instruments, so I'm just going to push them upside down into the mould, into this fondant. I'll do is I'll push it down with something. I'm just using an exacto knife at the moment. Just to make sure that it's all in. Like so. This bit's got a just a little bit there that I want to make sure it gets in, so I'm just going to push it down a little tiny bit more. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to flip it out really carefully. And as you can see, it's got the shape in it. And I'm just going to pop this into the freezer now for about half an hour. Well, these are the moulds that have come out of the, um, out of the freezer. So, oh my goodness, I've got a little bit of gum paste. Hang on. Just dipped it in some more Tylo just to make it a bit less sticky. And then what I do is I grab a little bit of it, roll it so there's no cracks, and then look at what we're going to press it into. And this ain't the best mould in the world, but if you just want a quick mould, these are ideal. You know, like if you just need something quickly. And I've used these for lots of different things. And if you've got time to air dry these, they do come out better. As you can. And see. So, that's the trombone, and I did the guitar earlier, and there's a trumpet. But what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to paint them silver after, and um, hopefully they come out alright. Well, hope you find this useful, and... Um, Hopefully you can make your own little moulds. Bye for now.